Hello, welcome to the Carbon Footprint and Sustainable Solutions presentation, led by Alwud, Marwa, Muhammad, and myself, Carla. We will take you on a journey to talk about the carbon footprint, how we can calculate it, current statistics, we provide you with our own analysis and conclusion, reflection, and most importantly, our sustainable solutions. We are members of the Low Carbon Pioneers. We are dedicated to charting a greener path, leading the way to sustainable tomorrow. Greenhouse gases trap heat into the atmosphere, and that's overheating the planet. So how do we make this negative impact? In particular, transport is a big part of your carbon footprint. Cutting down on your use of petrol or diesel cars and taking fewer flights is one of the most effective ways of reducing it. The place you live also contributes to your personal footprint. It's important to make sure your home is heated or cooled efficiently and is well insulated. The more you use sustainable energy like solar or wind power, the more you cut your emissions. The stuff you use at home also adds to the problem. All that plastic, the metal, the cardboard takes a lot of energy to produce and dispose of. So recycling can help reduce your carbon footprint but not as much as how you travel or heating and cooling your home. Then there's your diet. Above all, red meat makes your carbon footprint bigger because cows produce so much methane, which is another greenhouse gas. In the developing world, polluting stoves are a real problem too, so it's important to try to replace them with more efficient methods of cooking. What we've accomplished is the calculation of our individual carbon footprint. Utilizing the footprint calculator website, we assessed comprehensive information for this assessment. Our process involved taking the quiz, which then generates a summary of how our lifestyles impact the environment. Then the platform offered facts, statistics, and a variety of solutions covering areas like city living, energy consumption, dietary choices, population impact, and global considerations. However, we will share the analysis derived from surveys conducted globally spanning regions such as the UAE, Egypt, Lebanon, the United States, and beyond. As us, students of American University in Dubai, have worked in collaboration with Green Riverview College students, we look into global UAE and United States environmental health statistics. Earth Overshoe Day is typically calculated annually based on various factors, including humanity's ecological footprint and Earth's capacity to regenerate resources in a given year. As of 2023, according to Global Footprint Network, the global biocapacity is 1.5 global hectares per person. However, it has been reported that our global ecological footprint exceeds the biocapacity and is currently at 2.6 global hectares per person, leaving us with 1.1 global hectares per person of deficit, or in other words, overconsumed resources per year. Taking these factors into account, our Global Earth Overshoot Day falls on August 2nd, 2023. It has been documented that if in 2023 we were to live like UAE, which is currently amongst the highest contributors in the world at 10.68 GHA, or USA that was last reported back in 2018 with 8.1 GHA of ecologic footprint, both the countries are total to with 5.1 Earths required to sustain the ecologic output. Our Earth's Overshoot Day will come much sooner five months sooner to be precise, on March 13th, 2023. As students specializing in environmental health and sustainability, our COIL partnership with the proficient US students specializing in programming language called Python empowered us to conduct an independent data analysis, contributing to a more profound grasp of the complex environmental challenges at hand. Serving a total of 120 people of various ages and ethnic backgrounds residing either in UAE or USA, we found that the median amount of ecologic footprint is 7.75 GHA with 50% of interquartile range, ranging from the lower quartile of 5.4 GHA to upper quartile of 9.7 GHA. With each whisker representing 25% of people, the lower extreme or minimum is 2 GHA and the upper extreme or maximum is 13 GHA. The survey analysis also left us with a discovery of a few outliers exceeding the upper extreme, three between 15 to 17.5 GHA, one at 18.75 GHA, and one at 20.8 GHA. Taking the previous box plot into account, we have categorized them into countries by residence, 
and analyze numbers of Earths each required by assessing the lowest, medium and maximum numbers. We have discovered that the country by residence which has minimum number of Earths is Lebanon with 0.8, medium number is United Kingdom with 7.3 and maximum number is UAE with 13 Earths required to outpace their ecological footprint. After conducting surveys, we reflected upon the data and found out a few different interesting points which I'll be sharing with you. An important factor to consider is the country of the people taking the survey are residing from which are numerous, like the USA, UAE, Vietnam, Australia, Russia, Nepal, Indonesia, Egypt, Romania, United Kingdom, Saudi Arabia, Iran, Syria, Canada, Kuwait, and finally Germany. Then we compared the data of the lowest ecological footprint between the UAE and the USA, and more people from the UAE have taken the survey. 54% lived in the UAE, and 46% live in the USA. Finally, we came with the outcome that the lowest ecological footprint was in the USA, with the lowest average of 7.07 .07 ecological footprint. And the highest ecological footprint was in the UAE, with the highest average of 9.06 ecological footprint. This could be due to the UAE's high rapid economic development, leading to the increased consumption of resources of energy and water, even though it is a much smaller country than the USA. The Earth Overshoot Day is the date each year when humanity's demand for ecological resources and services exceeds what the Earth can regenerate in that year. According to our survey, the most common output for the Earth Overshoot Day across the globe is the 5th of March. It marks the point in the year when we have used up more natural resources and produced more waste than the Earth can sustainably support. After collecting all of this data, we concluded that we must raise awareness about the sustainability of our current consumption patterns and to encourage efforts to reduce our ecological impact. The date has been becoming earlier in the calendar year, indicating an increasing ecological deficit over time. There are different sustainable solutions that can be taken into consideration for both the UAE, which has the highest GHE of 10.68, and the USA, with 8.1 GHE of ecological footprints, to reduce the Earth overshoot day. The main contributors that can be changed are food, goods, mobility, services, and shelter to achieve a lower ecological footprint. Encouraging plant-based diets to reduce the environmental impact associated with meat in the USA. As for the UAE, agriculture can be promoted and supported to reduce the carbon footprint associated with importing food. Investing in public transport and active mobility for both countries can help reduce traffic and emissions by decreasing the reliance on private vehicles. Encouraging a circular economy in the USA by promoting the repair, reuse, and recycling of goods to minimize the waste. In the UAE, implementing measures to reduce the consumption of single plastics and promote sustainable packaging alternatives. Using energy-efficient services in the service industry for the US, such as renewable energy sources. Encouraging and promoting sustainability by having a green certification for businesses in the UAE. Enhancing and enforcing green building standards to ensure energy efficient homes and promoting sustainable construction practices along with integrating sustainable urban planning is necessary for both countries. By adopting these sustainable solutions, individuals in the UAE and the USA can contribute to reducing their ecological footprint and moving towards a more sustainable and balanced relationship with the environment.